Hi there, this is Garrett with CCS. And today I'm going to show you all the new features and enhancements that you can find in the new Zimbra 8 platform. The very first thing I want to point out is the streamlined user interface. Um, the web client has been completely redesigned and the focus is mostly on simplicity and accessibility. Uh, the interface is way more streamlined and common actions are easily discoverable and highly intuitive to use. And one of those new features that has been rolled out is the conversation view and I'd like to go talk about that for a minute. First thing you'd like to notice is this email thread that I have between myself and who Sam has about 17 messages back and forth and in the actual window over here you can see the most recent conversation conversation at the top and all of the additional conversations that we've had all the way down below and it's very easy to activate this feature what you're gonna to want to do is pick the view button up here in the top right hand corner and you can change your view to have it by conversations which we have, which I currently have activated and there is the by message view as well and this view is the traditional one message at a time and you'll see all of the, the threads within each email itself but with the conversation view as if I click the view button and select conversation again all of those emails get put nicely together into this little thread and it'll show that there has 17 messages you can also move this window as well so instead of having the reading pane on the right which some users prefer I prefer it down at the bottom and the reason why I like it down here is because that's the most recent message is still at the top and all of the older messages are down here at the bottom Activity streams give users extensive control over their inbox and how they interact with the messages they receive. And I'd like to show you how it works. First thing you need to do is over here on the left hand side where you see folders, there's a little gear icon right here and you will select activity stream. And basically what this does is that it will be set to default as disabled, but if you enable it, what it will basically do is create some rules which which will say how some messages will come into your inbox itself so once you have it enabled you can either have messages sent through distribution lists to which i'm subscribed commercial mass marketing or bulk mail messages messages where my address is not in the to or the to or cc field and messages from people not in my address book so i'm going to go ahead and activate my activity stream and you'll see right up here at the top the filters have been saved and over here on the left hand side you're going to see a brand new folder called activity stream now I've set this up onto my onto my account so I am going to send myself a message and see what happens it is just sent from my other message folder and if I refresh my Griff mail you're gonna see that I now have a message down over here and if I click on it it's a message for me that says the activity stream works Basically, the reason why it worked is that I put my email address as part of the CC field. And in the actual settings of the activity stream, that was where messages and where my address are not in the two, or I can switch it so that it includes the two or CC fields. But basically, now I have much more control over my inbox and how the messages come to me and when do I want to see them. Two of the major improvements that have been added to the Griffmail Zimber 8 is the ability to print directly from your, your main screen. So I just need to find an email that I want to print off and right up here in the action button, if you select that, it will open a drop down menu and print is one of those selections there. Once you do select print, what will happen is that email will be composed in a print view, which is much, much easier on the eyes and can be printed off to any printer that you choose. Additionally, including with printing is also with the message composition. A new rich text message composition feature has been added into Zimbra 8. And I'd like to show you the one of the greatest features. I have a little logo that's hiding out over here and what I can do is directly drag it and drop it right into the email. No more trying to attach with buttons and finding the file and folder path on your computer itself. It's just drag and drop and off you go. Additionally, all the same features and functions that you remember from Zimbra 7 have been included as well. Zimbra 8 has an amazing new calendar functionality and I'd like to show some of that to you. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to create a new appointment. Super easy to do. Up here on the left hand you'll be able to select new appointment and that'll pop open a new window. And the subject's appointment we're going to call it uh, training and I'm going to get trained by Hussam and he's a smart guy and so he's going to train me. Now, one of the amazing things that you can do is actually suggest a time and a location based on what users have for an availability. So you can actually go through on the calendar here on the right hand side and select a date and you'll actually see where both yourself and all the attendees have a time that is good for the both of you. I'm going to pick 2 p.m. on this day and I need a location as well. And what you can do is suggest a location and you can look through and you can find what buildings have the actual availability and what rooms actually have space for you to use. So I've selected this one right here and I'm going to go ahead and send this 
event. So once this appointment has been created, it is showing up in my actual calendar, which you can see up here. And who Sam, who received an invitation from me, will now need to either accept or reject my appointment with him. Another part I'd really like to show you, and I think is one of the coolest features, is how you can import external calendars directly in to your own personal calendar here in Zimbra. So on the left-hand side up here where you see calendars, there's a little gear icon and you are going to add an external calendar. You can do a Yahoo calendar or any external calendar, which I am going to select and I'm going to select an iCal subscription. This is basically a lot of calendars that you can find online in the cloud will actually have a URL that you can point directly to any mail client directly to and it will sync up your calendar. I'm going to hit next and I'm going to give this calendar a name and we will just call it my Gmail calendar and I'm going to give it a color of red just so it's easy to see and hit OK. It's going to think for a minute and all of a sudden it's going to pop up and you're going to see that my brand new calendar items which I had from my old calendar in red like the brainstorming session, coding and training are now populated in as well. Zimbra also offers a server-side implementation of Microsoft's ActiveSync 12.1 protocol. And what that basically means is that every single major mobile device that is currently on the market, and that includes Android, Blackberry, Windows Phone, and iOS, are completely supported by Zimbra. And you can set up all of your mobile devices to receive your mail. But there is also an additional way to access your mail, which is actually through the web client, through a browser on your mobile phone. And I'd like to show you what that page looks like. All you need to do is point your uh, your browser on your mobile device to mail.uoguelph.ca and it will bring you into the login page. And I'm going to go ahead and log myself in. And on this page, for the purposes of this demonstration, I am going to switch it from the default version to the mobile version. And once you select login, it will pop open this new view. And basically, this web version of Zimbra is exactly like accessing mail.uoguelph.ca from a desktop computer, but it really simplifies everything that you need to do and makes it a lot more user-friendly and easier on the eyes when you are looking at on a smaller device. This new web version with the ActiveSync 12.1 protocols does offer a whole lot of additional features and benefits. And if you'd like to learn more about those, please direct yourselves to the help documentation pages that have been created on the UO Guelph website and the address that you see right in front of you. And finally, the supported operating systems and browsers. For Zimbra 8, Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 with the required update is supported, including Mac OS X 10.6 and higher supported, and Linux, which includes Red Hat, Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, and SUSE. For browsers, pretty much all of them. Internet Explorer 9.x and higher for Windows 7, Internet Explorer 11 for Windows 8, and for Windows, Mac, and Linux, you could use Firefox, Chrome, or Safari without any additional issues at all. Thank you very much for taking an eye on this video. My name is Garrett with CCS, and I hope you enjoyed all the new features and benefits that you can find in Zimbra 8.